Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Wellness Wave, a podcast series on health and wellness organized by the Department of Media Science, the Heritage Academy. Today we have on board Dr. Anona Bhomek, an eminent clinical nutritionist and a wellness coach, also the founder director of the wellness clinic Code Wellness Private Limited. Hello ma'am, we are very honored to have you on board today. Thank you so, so much. So uh, to start off with, my first question would be, uh, we as youngsters, we consume a lot of junk food and carbonated drinks, which definitely does not have a good effect on our health. Uh, so what would be your suggestion in minimizing those harmful effects? See, what is important is, uh, how do you choose? I mean, if I say completely stop having uh, fast food or completely stop having carbonated drinks, yeah. then that is a world which doesn't exist. Right. So we have to choose the right kind of balance between yeah. them. So I don't always say that do not have it completely. But if we have, for example, if I see, if I look into seven days, yeah. so in those seven days, if I can at least take care of the six days with a balanced diet, yeah. then uh, two meals in in a week, if that goes wrong, it doesn't really matter to that extent. Right. So uh, that is where we have to strike a balance. Yeah. Now, the problem is when it is like everyday lunch is fast food. Yeah. Everyday lunch, you don't have tiffin from the house or uh, you choose food that is fast food. So um, there I would say we need to change the approach. Mm. And uh, that is where our uh, lifestyle and diet is going for a toss. And that is why these youngsters are more prone to have uh, lifestyle diseases like uh, PCOD right. and uh, even hypertension, for the matter of fact, people are becoming hypertensive before 30s. So uh, there we need to change it and not make it a daily affair. Mm. Uh, so if it is possible to, I'm not saying you have to get food from home all the time, mm. which uh, at times it is difficult. So in that case, what we can do is we can choose wisely. Mm. So in that choosing of wisely, it is always seen that if you go to any uh, full-fledged canteen or full-fledged uh, place where, uh, you know, rice and uh, roti are being made on a daily basis. So if you choose from there, then naturally you will be able to avoid fast food on a daily basis. Right. So that makes it simpler. And uh, I guess one more thing, since I'm a wellness consultant, I always yeah. say that if you are having something every day, mm -hmm. you lose that excitement of having right. it. So um, if you if fast food interests you a lot, if, uh, you know, carbonated drinks interest you a lot, then why not have it twice a week than have it on a daily basis? Yeah. So if you, you know, go back and look at your mental health, that will give you more pleasure. Trust right. me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, moving on, how important is breakfast? Is skipping breakfast good or bad for our health? Like, what is the effect that breakfast has on our health? See, uh, at times we uh, go for intermittent fasting. We, we design the diet like that. Right. And there is a reason for intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is not for all. There are a lot of... Uh, I can go, go, go to, to the details later on maybe. But uh, when it comes to uh, breakfast on a regular basis, yes, we usually uh, recommend three meals a day yeah. so where breakfast is one of the main meals. Yeah. And uh, if you come to look at it, if you're leaving for the whole day yeah. and uh, actually you do not know, since this is for students, I guess right. uh, I'm, I'm talking from that point of view. So um, uh, when a, a student is leaving for the day in the morning and then throughout the day uh, he or she is uh, in the college or doing some activities mm. where, uh, you know, he or she is not really uh, aware that when that person is going to get a break for mm. the lunch or things like that, mm. it is not that calculated. Mm. So uh, if that happens and then there might be tuitions or then there might be something else. So what happens is, one meal you surely know that you can have on time and that's breakfast. Mm. So when it comes to young adults or, uh, you know, this age group of 20s, I always recommend have a proper detailed breakfast. Mm. 
make it one of the most important milestones of your diet yeah. because that is in your hands right. and uh, if that is a balanced diet yeah. then the rest of the day gets less hampered hmm. you know what i'm saying right. so um you are you feel more full and uh, you can carry on for a longer time Okay, ma'am. Since we are talking about intermittent fasting, and you said it's not good for everyone. Yes. So, does these detox diets that mm. people follow, uh, detox diets and cleanses, mm -hmm. uh, are they useful? Like, do they work at all? See, the <laughs> detox diet concept is uh, very vague. Firstly, mm. because um, you know, it's 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 not like it's not like there is there's a substance. which has dirt on it mm. and you clean it right body is not like that right it is not that easy mm. otherwise you know we wouldn't have taken like i have taken 15 years mm. to learn what i've learned i mean i have done 15 years of degree after degree so um if it would have been that easy mm. i would have taken one or two months right okay so <laughs> naturally it's not very easy it's very complicated so the term detox i think it is very loosely used mm. so yes uh, what we do is when a person is uh, has gone through various kind of diets which is uh, nowadays i call it real diet mm, don't right. mind for your generation i call it real <laughs> diet because every real has a new diet plan and people have a tendency to follow them right so i mean it's a mind game after all so uh, once they are following that their metabolism their lifestyle everything goes for a toss mm. so what do we need to do we need to stop that complete haywire scenario in the metabolic level mm. and get them back to a normal circadian rhythm mm. now sir i don't want to uh, use such jargons i'm just uh, i'm saying something very uh, normal now that is a uh, body clock yes right. that's the word body clock everybody understands mm -hmm. so that body clock goes for a toss mm. and body clock is extremely important to control the metabolism okay so once you are doing those kind of uh, erratic diets mm. or erratic lifestyle mm. when you get back to that kind of uh, maintained controlled lifestyle and diet if you want to call it you call that uh, detox right. but actually that is what you know helps you get out of that zone Mm. which has completely you know made you lose your appetite made you lose your sleep uh made you more prone to infections your skin has gone for a toss your hair falls mm. so all this aste aste very slowly yeah. you know it comes to normal rhythm mm. so that if you call it detox then you call it detox but there is no detox uh, you know drink <laughs> there is no shortcut my dear yeah. please get it straight health has no shortcuts hmm. it is not a computer hmm. there is no controlled all delete you do something hmm. you you reap what you sow right so uh, you cannot delete that yes you can reverse that hmm. but then to reverse you have to put in that effort hmm. you have to go on with that uh, you know rhythm with that correct diet with that correct lifestyle for a certain amount of time you know to get back that result Right. So that's why I guess we come into play. <laughs> Ma'am, are uh, dairy products necessary for building strong strong bones? And if so, then what would be your suggestion for the lactose intolerant people? Hmm. See, dairy products, for example, when it it comes to um, growth, hmm. so uh, the first eighteen years of everybody's life, uh, calcium needs are very high. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we we always recommend dairy products. It's it's very common. I I do I do on a daily basis, and later on also I do. In fact, uh, for women after uh, women when they are in forties, I regularly um, give them dairy products. So it is very important. Mm. But yes, there is a huge um, uh, roar about lactose intolerance. Mm. Well, lactose intolerance need to needs to be documented. now the problem is uh, a lot of people think that they are they are lactose intolerant but they are actually not yeah. so um, it needs to be diagnosed by a doctor 
and not by yourself <laughs> again as i say yes. you know you need a lot of learning to understand a particular thing so uh, that is always there so uh, if a person is lactose intolerant and it is it is diagnosed that way mm -hmm. then uh, scientifically diagnosed then we have a lot of options for example we give green leafy vegetables we uh, incorporate good amount of uh, nuts mm. and uh, there is also it is also important to incorporate uh, lactose free milk you know there are okay. there are yeah. all these all these available for example you have oat milk mm. you have almond milk you have soy milk so nowadays it is a very common affair mm. so you get all these alternatives very easily but yes uh if you go without dairy products for a very long time for example 15 years 20 years it is always good to check your calcium levels and your vitamin d levels so once you do that uh if needed you can always take supplements mm -hmm. and if not you can carry on the way you are okay ma'am is a vegan or a vegetarian diet healthier than a diet that contains meat no see this is a, a a wrong concept again this is a very common question that i'm asked mm. um the thing is when you are a vegan mm. your choices of protein is different right it doesn't mean that those choices are unhealthy mm. okay but uh, even when you're a vegetarian your choices of protein are different so it's just the choice of protein that matters at the end of the day if you're having a proper quantity of rice and a good quality of dal mm. the combination of that protein is fabulous okay you know it contains almost all essential amino acids that uh, our body needs yeah. so uh, i guess uh, that is good enough but yes we need uh, a an a, an addition of proteins so you know vegans they go for uh, different kinds of pulses or things like that and veg uh, non vegetarians go for non veg yeah. but that is just uh, a choice so, like both of them serve their purposes absolutely absolutely okay ma'am for uh, people like us who are young we stay often stay away from our families for studies or job requirements and we are responsible for our own food habits mm -hmm. and we are often careless about uh, what goes in into our body so what would be your suggestion for us to like maintain a good eating habit see what happens with you people you people uh, should first understand that uh, the basic block of health hmm. is a balanced diet right see uh, you people are not really diseased at this point of time hmm. most of you are not i mean pcod is very common so if i'm keeping that away hmm. then clinical diet doesn't come into play right now hmm. in your life so it's more about a diet which can help you continue a healthy life so that you don't fall ill mm. very soon mm. okay so uh, a diet which can help you stop uh, lifestyle diseases mm. or metabolic syndromes in your life is basically balanced diet mm. and when it comes to balanced diet i would definitely recommend that you include decent amount of carbohydrate in your diet mm. which usually uh, this generations plans to avoid for good mm. so a, a normal amount of carbohydrate i'm not asking you to have uh, five rotis mm. but one or two rotis is completely healthy you know mm. you should have it so uh, yes you include a bit of carbohydrate in your diet there should be a decent amount of vegetables or fruits in your meal mm. like in your daily diet it is impossible that you do not like any vegetables right so this is not possible mm. so try to include a little bit of vegetables or at least one fruit mm. in your 24 hours mm. and with that you guys are very good with protein mm. so i don't need to talk about that yeah. because uh, you all have too much of protein right that is also not recommended and without any reason please do not have supplements mm. like that is something which is the i should say that is the most stupid thing this generation is doing mm. because you are taking chemical substances mm. which are not even recommended by someone who has read about it mm. so that is a very irresponsible thing to do so do not take any medicine like even an antacid mm. without a doctor's prescription or do not take supplements okay. try to go for normal food substances waise bhi even in today's life our normal food is adulterated so yeah. let's not make our lives more complicated mm. 
have food okay whenever you are hungry have food and try not to take coffee or uh, tea when you are hungry hmm. that is not food mm mm-hmm. okay try to go for food yeah that is what is recommended okay. and water right. one more thing you people um, I'm sorry I'm I'm saying you yeah, but I'm actually trying to I'm not addressing no, no, you no, I'm trying to address this um, this age group from 18 to 30 right okay this age group this is the time when you whatever lifestyle or whatever diet you have that has direct effect hmm. on your metabolic level that decides whether you are going to be diabetic whether you are going to be hypertensive whether you are going to be pcos so this is all these are all lifestyle diseases hmm. so if you have these years sorted with your diet and lifestyle you can be very relaxed later on okay. so um try to incorporate at least 2.5 liters of water in your diet okay. and uh, it is water when i say water i am not meaning a supplement mm-hmm. i am not meaning a cold drink mm. i mean water so yeah. water per se mm. is something which we are missing and young generation this generation now i don't know gen z whatever you all call <laughs> yourself <laughs> please have water <laughs> and get sleep another very important aspect is when you are not getting sleep mm. if you're not being able to sleep sound get sound sleep or you're not being able to get your sleep when you're trying to go to sleep then please consult a doctor or a wellness consultant or a lifestyle expert hmm. because that is a very crucial symptom for a lot of issues later on hmm. and this is a problem which uh, you know even we have avoided when we were studying we hmm. were also very casual about hmm. sleep issues you guys are also very casual about sleep issues so we somewhere need to understand the importance of sleep hmm. okay so like you need to work you need to take rest right so this is a very important aspect of wellness when it comes to balanced diet so that's why i spoke about every aspect yes. so ma'am coming to the last question uh, what are certain dietary habits or choices that one should definitely maintain in order to avoid health related issues i think i already covered that also yeah. so uh, one more thing that i would uh, like to include is other than whatever diet i told you hmm. and lifestyle issues i told you i would like to include one more thing that is um, when you you have to do energy expenditure also mm-hmm. right now energy expenditure just doesn't always mean going to the gym mm. so in that case i would uh, always suggest you that when a person cannot do gym for a regular uh, basis then that person should try to do some kind of activity which uh, that person enjoys mm. for example some person in enjo- some person may enjoy just swimming Hmm. some people may may enjoy walking or uh, maybe dancing so these are little things which can be incorporated and there is a satisfaction factor hmm. you know attached to it so i guess we as individuals we have to look into ourselves hmm. and find out exactly what kind of activities you know interest us hmm. so give some time to yourself find out the activities that interest you and try to incorporate them in your life okay. gym and only gym can make you look fit is a very wrong concept mm. okay so try to incorporate those uh, physical activities which you like which you enjoy in your life so that you know you can say that is your me time right so with the diet if you can incorporate all these things then that works okay thank you so Welcome. much ma'am uh, with that we come to the end of the session thank you for joining in and please stay tuned to this channel for more such updates related to health and well being